In this series, we dive into the ways Onshape is different than other 3D parametric design tools. In this video, we will take a look at relational and top-down design. Onshape handles the relationships between components and other elements in your design in two very unique ways, the multi-part part studio and in-context references. The first method of designing and capturing part geometry is probably the biggest departure from any other design tool you've used before. Onshape allows and encourages you to design multiple parts in a single workspace. This flexibility fundamentally changes the way you can design parts. This streamlines the workflow of capturing the relationships between these parts. Instead of creating individual features that define each component, you can create features that define and modify multiple components at once. Although these components may have been designed with relationships to one another, this doesn't mean they represent a full assembly. In some cases, you may have multiple instances of the components that were designed. And likewise, you may need to incorporate other components from standard content and other part studios or even other documents. Incorporating these into an assembly is a quick, easy step. You can parametrically link these to the part studio. This means when new parts are created in the part studio, they are automatically added to the assembly. For example, changing this cap feature to a completely separate cap part. Building and adding additional components to assemblies will be covered in another video. But understand that Onshape makes it easy and flexible to make changes to your final assembly structures. Additionally, designs can evolve in completely new ways. What started as a single component can evolve to be multiple parts, and vice versa. A design that contains multiple parts can be simplified down to a single component, reducing part counts in your design. This provides a completely new level of freedom as you design allowing your designs to evolve naturally without having to worry about managing files. This may lead to the question of traditional multi-body files found in other 3D design tools. This concept is handled a little differently within Onshape as well. If you have several parts or bodies that should be combined to represent a single part, you can turn them into a composite part. Composite parts are perfect for purchase components that are comprised of multiple parts, but you only want to track a single entity. As you build out your assemblies, you may find cases where you need to capture references relative to a specific assembly component or position in the assembly. At any time, you can create a snapshot of the assembly and that particular position as an in-context reference within the part studio. Likewise, you can define this snapshot to focus on only those components that are relevant to the design needs at the time. This allows you to create references to those components within that particular position. This concept is unique to Onshape in that as you make changes in the assembly, not every subtle change is going to push an update to the corresponding parts. When a contextual change would potentially update the reference part studios, Onshape lets you know in the feature history. Only when you want to update the context do you have to. This is not the same as breaking or locking references. This is you choosing when you want to update the references. These methods for creating relational designs between components is a significant shift away from how parts and assemblies have been created in the past. This truly leverages the unique architecture of Onshape.